point of sale basic operations. From the main VRP menu, press POS. To ring a cash sale, scan the items that the customer is purchasing. Then press the box next to the cash method of payment. You can use the on screen keypad to enter the amount of cash the customer is giving you. Or you can use the denomination buttons. If you make a mistake, press clear to start over. When finished, press finalize. The cash drawer will open and the amount of change due the customer is shown on the screen. Here is what the receipt looks like. To ring a credit card sale, Scan the items. Then press the box next to the credit card method of payment. Press the button showing the full amount of the sale. Swipe the credit card and press process. Here is what the receipt looks like. You will notice that VRP automatically recognizes the type of credit card being used, in this case a Visa. You can also ring a sale using multiple tender types. First scan the items. Then press the box next to the first method of payment and enter the amount. Let's say this customer is putting $50 on his credit card. Now press the box next to the second payment type. Let's say the customer is using a $25 American Express gift check. Continue entering all of the tenders. The customer will pay the final balance in cash. When finished, press Finalize. Swipe the customer's credit card, then press Process. Here is the customer's receipt, which shows all three methods of payment used. Now let's start another sale by scanning some items. To remove an item from the sale, highlight the item and press Delete Item. To clear the screen and start over, press Clear. Let's rescan those items. To attach a customer to the sale, press Custs. Start by searching to see if the customer already exists. Type the first or last name of the customer and press Go. If the customer has already been entered into the database, you can highlight her name and press Connect. If the customer is not in the database yet, press Add New Customer. Enter the customer's first and last name and any additional information you need, such as telephone number and address. When finished, press Save. Then press Connect. If the customer is not ready to make this purchase, you can put the sale on hold by pressing Hold. Since you already chose a customer, her name will automatically appear. Press Enter. If you had not chosen a customer, this field would be blank. You would then type the customer's name and press Enter. To ring a sale with one or more discounts, scan the items. Highlight an item to be discounted and press Discount. Choose a discount type, percent off, dollar off, or new price. Enter the discount amount and press Apply. Now press Discount again. You can press Remove Discounts to remove all discounts on a sale. To apply a discount to the entire sale, choose the discount type, enter the discount amount, then choose Apply to All Items, and press Apply. You can add a note to the sale by pressing Note. Type your note 
and remember that this note will print on the customer's receipt. When finished, press Connect. Then choose the method of payment and finalize the sale. Here is what the receipt looks like. Notice that it shows the discount amount for each item and the total discount for the sale, as well as the note that you entered. To assign a sales rep to a purchase, press Rep 1 before you scan the item. Choose the rep and press Select. You can assign two sales reps per item. Press Rep 2 to assign the second. Choose the rep and select. Each item you scan will keep the same sales reps you selected. If the next item has a different rep, or none at all, make the changes to reps 1 and 2 before you scan the item. To change the rep on a scanned item, press the rep's name. The name becomes a button. Press the button and select a different rep. If you forget to select a rep before scanning your items, you can assign a rep by selecting Rep 1 and Rep 2 if necessary. Then remember to press Apply Reps. When finished, choose a tender and finalize the sale. If you click Previous to view the sale, you will see that the rep's name shows at the top of the receipt. You can change a sales rep by clicking the Rep button. Press Rep 1 and select a new rep. Then press OK. Press Bye Bye to return to the main point of sale screen. To recall a hold, Press Call Hold. Highlight the hold receipt you want, then press Call Hold. Choose a tender and finalize the sale as usual. Here is what the receipt looks like. Notice the customer's information prints on the receipt. You can view additional product information by pressing Just Look. Scan the item or enter the product number. The grid will show you the on-hand quantities in your store. If your business has more than one location, press the Query Hub button to see the on-hand quantities in your other locations. When finished, press bye-bye.